Alright guys, hello, welcome aboard the flagship Independence, more content on X-Wing Virtual Machine. I promised to share my voice attack profile. Let's just get things done with our voice, which is super helpful when you've got one of these VR headsets stuck to your face. So you'll found, find a download link in the description of the video and a pinned comment below, along with those timestamps that gives us chapters. So download it, make changes if you want to, use phrases from the movies, use phrases you think you'll remember better than what I've chosen. I might make changes in the future. The idea was to share this to let you guys have fun and get up and going with it. We have to remember that this is an old game and the controls are quite archaic. So I need to get a little bit creative with voice attack because we're basically just mashing keys. You keep pressing S to cycle the shields. You keep pressing X to cycle the fire commands. So what I've done is think, well, if we're in single fire and I want to do linked dual cannons, I'll just say dual fire and it'll press X once. If I'm single fire and I want to do quad fire, I say quad fire and voice attack presses X twice for me. Once I'm in quad fire and I want to go to the next, which is single fire, I'll just say single fire. So if that's confusing, hopefully it'll make sense once you see the profile, you start editing it and playing. But it's just better than me saying cycle weapons, cycle weapons, cycle weapons, or link weapons, link weapons all the time, saying the same thing over and over and over again. As long as you know what setting you're on, you know which command to give. Same for the shields. I can focus them to the front, to the rear, and balance them. So let's do a little demonstration. People wanted to know about using wingman commands. We can absolutely do that. Uh, the other thing we need to keep in mind, some people are going to find this game quite difficult when they do the campaign, and that's because it gives us these objectives. So you might have to defend a corvette. There we go. So what we could do is save that as target one, and then we could easily reference it say target one and then target the attacker so whoever's attacking my corvette they'll be targeted and then i can say to my wingmen attack my target and so on all of these tools we have available to us to get these missions done efficiently so let's start with mission one because it's pretty chill i can demonstrate some of the extra commands that i've put in and and what's going on power to lasers so that's recharging the laser banks which are already full but rather than try and put power into the shield system I can actually just boost them boost deflectors I spam that about four times it's taken a lot of energy out of the laser banks but it's put it into shields for us and our lasers will gradually recharge dual fire link weapons Single fire, quad fire. Get the idea. Next objective, save as target one. Next target, save as target two. Next target, save as target three. Target one, target two, target three. Switch to targeting computer, switch weapons. So on. Damage report. Display mission goals. Retract S foils. Lock S foils in attack position. Fire. Target one. Fire. Target two. Fire. Switch weapons. Engage hyperdrive. Gives you an idea of what's possible just by using my voice. So now we'll go to that second mission, which introduces wingmen. What I'll try and do is target uh, red leader to be target one, and then I'll be able to do that uh, target his attacker command. All right, so let's make sure I actually pick the mission. There we go. Watch and learn as red leader takes out TIE fighters on point defense. 
So I'm actually his wingman, but I'll still be able to give commands for people to cover me and attack my target. Target ahead. Save as target one. Power to lasers. Quad fire. Boost shields. Boost shields. Target their attacker. Save as target one. Next target. Save as target two. Target one. Attack my target. In my sights. Cover me. I'm on him. Next objective. Target ahead. Save as target two. Switch to targeting computer. Full speed. Boost shields. Nearest enemy. See how much weaker the lasers are. Nearest hostile. Nearest hostile is who's attacking me. If no one's attacking me, obviously it can't target them. Match target speed. Next target. Save as target one. Target their attacker. Targeting computer. Next objective. Save as target two. Retract test force. Punch it. So there you go, guys. Hopefully it's helped you out. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this. And as always, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.